Right guys, we're back with um, part two here. So um, there's the piece that we had before that we melted. So I've re removed the flux, you know, had a bit of flux down here, that's gone. Uh, moved all the flux off it, so what we're gonna do now is um, just hammer it, try and get a, uh, a square bar out of it so we can take it to the rollers. So what we've gotta do is, is try and hold it flat on here and Slowly and accurately try and hammer flats on there and the back side to create a square bar. So we've got to try and like, crush it back into itself one way. Now, since he's going to take the time and if your hammering isn't straight, your piece is going to go flying, which I'm sure we'll probably get that while we do this. It happens just about every time. But also your bar won't work straight, it'll start going off to an angle, it'll start to twist, and if it starts to twist, it's quite difficult to bring it back. Um, but, just keep going, a bit of luck, you can get it down far enough without losing it. Right, so found it. Happens just about every time. Now the flatter you make this, or the, the thinner you make it, the, the closer the square, the larger the bar you're going to get out of it. Um, Try and bring that back. It's starting to twist a little bit, so. so it's almost at a square sort of size now. What we'll do is from there, I think I'm going to take that now. It's starting to look what's well, much squarer than it was when we started, so I think I'm going to take that to the rollers now. Around here, this is something that I've got to be careful of. Through here, I don't want this metal here rolling around on itself, because if it does that, it's going to create like a little flary bit, and that's going to come back to haunt me later on. So I've just got to keep an eye on that. So we'll go over to the mill. And I've got to start trying to Roll it through here without, without rolling that piece around. So Alright, so we've gone through a few times and you can see that it's starting to take a square shape. But uh, we'll keep going now. I'm keeping an eye on this section there. You can see through our here. It's still got a little cap or a little groove here. Um, I'm going to keep a close eye on that because I don't want it folding. Now keep rolling. <laughs>
up. So, so we're almost there now. Looking at that piece, we we'll swing back around up here. They're looking at where it is now. It's got that big groove in it, and it's starting to fold. So that's just something I've, I've got to deal with right now. I don't deal with it, and it rolls around on itself. The bar will look good, but uh, once it comes back around later on, and just go from my flats, oh, I'll go from my squares to the flats. It'll start, um, it'll start to crack on me, or it'll start to peel off. So what I want to do is. Around that edge off, really. This is just a stone wheel. So if I take that edge off, this should pretty much deal with it. So as we keep going from here, See that there? It's all been ground out. Right, I'm just going to quickly anneal this, and um, I'm going to keep rolling it. 